well, it's been a nice morning so far down at the coast, though, still a little bit hazy out there with some light cloud coverage, although that those clouds are starting to work their way farther southeast. We will see some more breaks as we head towards the late morning and early afternoon, but still very nice out there. Temperatures not too bad either with lower dew points for the time being. We're at 73 right now in Providence down at the coast, 72 in Narragansett, New Bedford right now also sitting at 73 degrees. So it'll be hot and humid by this afternoon. Dew points will increase into the upper 60s, low 70s, kind of contributing to those feel like temperatures in the low 90s. Also tracking some changes on the way with showers and thunderstorms later on in the day, especially late evening and overnight. The good news is already by late morning, early afternoon tomorrow on Thursday, conditions will improve and stay nice through the end of the work week on Friday as well. So let's take a look at a breakdown for the afternoon temperatures right at the immediate coastline. Look at high temperatures in the low 80s, but the farther north you go here, we'll be seeing those highs in the upper 80s, low 90s, and with those heat index values, could feel even a little bit warmer with the high dew points across the area. Of course, we do have the chance for that late day thunderstorm and shower, but staying dry through the afternoon with these very warm temperatures. Again, down the coastline here, Bristol County and Massachusetts, also a little bit cooler than those temperatures we're seeing farther inland. And so kind of as we've been mentioning, that chance for showers and thunderstorms, we do have a severe risk for later on this evening and tonight, level one marginal risk for our area with the main threats that we're concerned about, high wind gusts and heavy downpours as these storms are moving through. So as I mentioned, the line here of these clouds starting to move farther south here, we'll be seeing some more breaks in the clouds as we head towards late morning, early afternoon with more partly sunny conditions. What we're tracking with this system here is this cold front, which will swing through southern New England later on today, bring more widespread showers and thunderstorms again, some of them could be severe at times, but through the rest of the morning and afternoon, the main weather headline will be the heat and humidity, but staying dry as we head towards the later evening, though, starting to see the chance for more scattered showers and potentially a thunderstorm, which will then become more widespread as we head towards the overnight. So you can kind of see this start to escalate as we head towards midnight here. And then this line kind of solidifying, coming behind it, bringing a lot of heavy rain, some possibly strong thunderstorms as well as we head towards around 2, 3 in the morning. Luckily, though, as we head towards the early morning hours, Thursday by your morning commute conditions already looking a lot better here. So this morning again, quick warm up with those temperatures in the mid 80s. We'll see a hot but dry afternoon high temperatures in the upper 80s with those high dew points. It'll feel pretty oppressive out there. And then of course those changes later on in the day with some showers and thunderstorms working their way. And the good news though is it looks to be well after the evening commute later. And as always, you can get any updates anytime with our WPRI 12 app. If there are any severe thunderstorms, you'll get an alert right away for that. So good news there. Melissa's here with me now. So luckily the commute this morning this looking, looking very quiet. Yeah, so. mother nature wise, it's quiet. We just had a couple of oh, things okay. pop up in the traffic <laughs> department though. So.